This is our 2003 Mini Cooper. When these cars came out, they became an instant cult classic. You can see they brought a lot of the retro styling back from the original Minis. You've got the bug eye headlamps, same style grill from the 70s, nice chrome trim on everything. You can see it around the headlamps and on the bumper. You've got fog lamps down there. The grill is all chrome. You've got alloy wheels and disc brakes at all four corners. Nice side marker lamp on the fender right there. The white mirrors and the white top are kind of a throwback to the 70s again. Got a nice sunroof up top that runs almost the whole length of the top. Privacy glass. Chrome on the back bumper. Chrome exhaust tip. You can see the backup lamp right there. Third brake light up top. Rear window wiper. Now inside you do have plenty of room for any of your luggage you're going to be carrying for a couple people. There's even tie downs right here to secure some items. There's another one right there. The seats do fold down and you can see when they're down they're totally flat. There is a gap right there but you're still going to have plenty of room to move some things around. Close this up and we'll move up front. See it's real easy to get in the back seat, you just push down on that handle, it flips the seat forward, now you have the ability to slide it. You do have a decent amount of leg room back here, cup holder, mat pockets in the rear of each seat. The leather's pretty cool in this car, you can see there's that dimple pattern right here, and then the rest is smooth, it's just a nice uh, offset I guess. Silver paint all over the place, it's a cool trim. Uh, you've got leather right there on the door, chrome door handle, you've got a tweeter right here for the stereo system and a mid-base down below. You can actually adjust the height of the seat if you wanted to. You can see if you kind of pump that up, it pushes the seat up, you can pump it right back down just as easy. Move in, slide the seat back again. See so your tachometer is right in front of you, which is real nice, that's one of the more important things. You've got your speedometer off to the side cruise control and your horn buttons are obviously right here on the steering wheel got a lot more of that painted trim inside the vents are kind of cool in here they almost look like a jet like afterburner they've got a you know a ring inside here pretty cool looking and they're very adjustable you can close them off just by turning the knob on the end nice stereo system you've got AM FM CD automatic temperature control and you can set the temperature you want. It'll show on this little screen right here. Actually, I'll put the key in and show you. Let's see here. Hit auto. So it's on low. 60, 62. Kind of keep clicking it up. 78. So it's going to set it at that temperature right there. It's going to adjust the fan and the temperature that it's blowing the air at. And uh, it's going to keep the temperature you wanted. Five speed auto or five speed manual transmission. Nice cup holders, you got your power mirrors right here, heated seats. You do have tire pressure monitoring system on this car and you do have the ability to turn it off if you'd like. There's an airbag right there, you also have side impact airbags that deploy from the seats. Up top, this is the clock, you can you know, obviously set it whatever you want it, whatever time it should be. And then you've got your sunroof control right here. You can see it's a one touch, very large opening, and then with that open you've got this screen that you can close. So it'll actually cut down a little bit of the wind and uh, keep any debris that might be flying over the car. If you, you know, hit some leaves coming at you, they're not going to come inside with that close. So one touch closing it again. Got your range. Uh, right here it says 302 miles because we've got a full tank and that's going by the average miles a gallon that you've been getting. So you've got your gas gauge right here, temperature gauge right there, speedometer like I said, tire pressure it's all blinking because it's not running. Real nice car, very clean, it's in great shape, it runs really well and they're just really cool looking. Like I said they've been really popular since they came out and they have one of the highest resale values of any used car out there. If you have any questions about this car, please give us a call.